Hello, I'm John Stapleton with Code VA, and this is a quick tutorial on branching paths in Twine, creating uh, stories in Twine where the reader has to make choices and they see different parts of the story based on the choices they make. Uh, kind of like choose your own adventure style stories. This is what really Twine is for. This is the purpose of Twine. So if you've been watching previous videos and you've been waiting like, okay, when do we get to the part that's really interesting? This is the part that's interesting. Uh, so uh, let's get into it. If you're interested in seeing the tutorials uh, that I recorded that got me to this point where I have two passages and I'm starting to think about making choices in the story, uh, go check out the links in the description. You can kind of see where those are. Um, anyway, let's get into it. I've got two passages. I've got a start where the spider uh, sees a clearing. They can go explore the clearing uh, and then they see stuff about the clearing. Great. Um, no problem. Now, what if instead, though, I had a uh, a choice here. What if I could have the spider not just see a clearing, but what if the spider had two places to go and the reader would have to make a choice for the spider? So here's my new version. Once upon a time, a spider was looking for a place to spin their web. They walked into the forest alone, looking for a good spot to make their home. Over the hill, they spotted a peaceful clearing. To the right, they spotted an old rotten log. Right now I have one choice, but in my story, I have two choices. So what I'm gonna do is make another passage. To do that, I'll make another link. Here's what the reader will see. And then here's the name of the passage that I want to put the story, the next part of the story in two passages. And now you can see that Twine has automatically created a new passage for me that matches the name I used in this start passage. Excellent. Let's go and add some, uh, let's go add some text here. Uh, we've got the log. Uh, when the spider gets to the log, this is what they'll see. The spider clambered up the soft wood, surprised to find a nest of ants. The spider didn't want to disturb them. So, uh, uh, the spider returns to the path and then notices a pond glimmering in the distance. Uh, you can see that I am uh, I'm hinting at new passages, right? But let's let's check out what what this uh, what this looks like. Okay, let's test. Ah, now we have two options. We have an option to explore the clearing, which we we know, um, and then we have an option to explore the rotten log, which leads to the next part of the story choices. You'll notice that there's no link to go back, right? The, I, the reader can't return to those, uh, to those previous choices unless they restart the story. Uh, this is great. It's like a little choose your own adventure thing. Uh, the, the story of the spider will be different depending on which link they choose. And I can add uh, more links to the story. Like let, let's, uh, let's see, you know, if we wanted to have a uh, a uh, a thing that goes to the road. Let's add a new passage here. Call it the road. Um, and I'm not going to put anything in there for now. Uh, I'm just going to say nothing here yet. And we'll have uh, the pond as well. Oh, hmm. Yeah, let's do the pond. Rename pond. So from the log, we have an option to go to the pond. And I have an option to return to the path. So I'll add a passage that goes back to the start. That seems fine to me. Great. Now you can see I have uh, now this double-sided arrow. 
um, that is indicating that the reader can go from the log passage back to the start using a link. Um, let's get a new thing for the for the clearing. This is my old clearing. Uh, found themselves in a clearing in a forest. The dappled sun shone through the sumac branches. Uh, saw a few places to make their home. They turned back. Returned to the forest to continue their search. So this one only goes back. Great. Um, I can even add a third link. Uh, like... So now you can go from the log to the clearing. You see, we're getting this like web of passages as we create links. So if I explore the log, I have three options. I can go back and go back to the log again, or I can explore the pond, which is a dead end, or I can go to, to the clearing, which allows me to go back to the beginning as well. Lots of paths. Uh, you can kind of tell a complicated interwoven web of a little story passages by creating uh, by creating links. Uh, one important thing to do as you're creating all these different links is to uh, test it pretty pretty frequently. Make sure that your links are leading to the places that you want them to lead to. Um, but with that, I, I think this is a, a good place to end. Uh, I would encourage you to go into your editor, try to create a new passage and extend my story or start your own story. See how many passages you can add. How, how long could your story be? How many different endings could there be, right? There are, there's a, a way here for your story to have maybe a good ending and a bad ending. L lots of different ideas. Uh, if you want more ideas, definitely go check out uh, the website down here. Uh, project ideas, more tutorials, all sorts of stuff to check out. Uh, if you have any questions, please reach out through the comments. We'd love to help you. Otherwise, good luck and happy coding.